Why are you so confident he'll change his behavior, Mr. President? Yeah, I'm not confident he'll change his behavior. What the hell? What do you do all the time? So when did I say I was confident? You I said, said in the next six I months said, be able to determine. What I said was, let's get it straight. I said what will change their behavior is that the rest of the world reacts to them and it diminishes their standing in the world. I'm not confident of anything. I'm just stating the fact. But given his past behavior has not changed, and in that press conference after sitting down with you for several hours, he denied any involvement in cyber attacks, he downplayed human rights abuses, he even refused to say Alexei Navalny's name. So how does that account to a constructive meeting as president? President Putin? Friday? You don't understand that. You're in your own business. It's a summit with China. Who we need to love? Who we need to love? Quickly, let's go. Quickly, let's go. Quickly, let's go. Y'all get home safe. I was about to use the phrase uh, pragmatic diplomacy, and then we've got a, a somewhat, um, I think the president got his back up there a little angry. bit, Casey, about the implication that somehow he was he was expressing confidence that, that Putin changes behavior um, and then just dis pretty dismissive of the follow up question as if you don't understand how diplomacy works. And I think that that I feel like that was him saying and, and there's going to perhaps be some we had it among folks on our air who said he's really got to push back on the on the what about isms and he's got to. Um, do this and some saying that maybe he didn't do it. Yeah. He clearly had a posture of what I was the phrase I want to use, which is pragmatic diplomacy. Like, look, he is who he is. You, you know, we know where we stand. I think I know where he stands. We express this and we'll see what happens. Right. It was this. I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to go great, but I still believe in this one on one. It, look, he tried to embrace the areas where he thought Putin did want to embrace as well. So it was it's just an interesting posture. I, I viewed it at one point. I wrote Professor Biden because I thought he was trying to basically be above it, be above the meeting and explain, look, guys, he's playing a game. You know, Russia's got their issues. Let me tell you. And guess what? They don't want a Cold War. Don't you know who borders them? They got this China issue. You think we have a China issue essentially implicating <laughs> Russia's going to have a China issue right. soon. Um, I actually thought for quite a while it was very effective. So that phrase, rise above, is exactly the one that I was going to use, mm -hmm. because he even walked out onto the stage, looked out at the reporters and said, oh, I just finished my last meeting. Mm -hmm. I know you were all in most interested in this <laughs> one, but I had all of these other meetings. And, you know, that was so carefully choreographed to demonstrate that he was embracing our allies in a way that the previous administration didn't, the previous president didn't. Uh, and then to go into this meeting, and he kept using the phrase strategic mm -hmm. stability, which I actually felt like his performance in this press conference was aimed at exactly that, basically mm -hmm. trying to rise above all of the ways in which Vladimir Putin was clearly trying to get a rise out of him, create his own reality. I had a very brief answer uh, response on January 6th, which, of course, uh, Putin raised. Even when he was talking about uh, cyber crimes, you know, Putin came out there and said, oh, we're not even on the list of people who are engaged in this. Obviously not the case. Uh, but Biden, again, sort of tried to, to, to rise above it. Now, at the end there, I mean, yeah. that flash of anger, I thought, was extraordinarily telling um, in that that, you know, he had sort of kept his cool all the way up until then. Uh, and then, of course, he finished his list of actual reporters. Okay. He could never quite get off the stage without nope. trying to take that That's last why we don't cut in so quickly. Like, we, we always exactly. wait because we know he likes to, he'll take that. Right, uh, he will. And, and he did, you know, I mean, he, he stood there and, and said he's not walking away from yeah. the, the families, for example, whose uh, loved ones are imprisoned in Russia, et cetera.